What if you were told that the ultimate act of self-love is to put yourself first? Imagine a world where we each prioritized our own needs, desires, and dreams. This isn't about being selfish, but rather about understanding that our own well-being is fundamental to our overall happiness and success. This concept may seem counterintuitive at first. We're often taught that caring for others is paramount and that focusing on ourselves is self-indulgent. But consider this, how can we truly be there for others if we're running on empty? How can we inspire, motivate, and uplift those around us if we're not feeling our best? Self-love is about nurturing our own spirit, acknowledging our worth, and giving ourselves the care and attention we deserve. When we love ourselves fully, we radiate positivity and strength. This energy is infectious, inspiring others to pursue their own self-love journey. Remember, you can't pour from an empty cup. Embrace self-love, fill your cup, and watch as your world transforms. Ever wondered how self-care could influence your daily life and those around you? The answer lies in the transformative power of nurturing your body, mind, and spirit. Self-care is not a luxury, but an essential part of a fulfilling life. Imagine a world where you take the time to nourish your body with healthy foods, engage in regular physical activity, and ensure a good night's sleep. This is not just about looking good, it's about feeling good too. Now consider how self-care affects your emotional health. Engaging in activities that you love, expressing your emotions freely, and nurturing positive relationships are all aspects of emotional self-care. Let's not forget about mental health. Regular meditation, learning new skills, and taking breaks when needed can help maintain a healthy mind. These self-care practices can lead to improved productivity, elevated mood, and a more positive outlook on life. And the best part? This positive energy can be infectious, inspiring those around you. Self-care is not an indulgence, it's a necessity. So how do you start putting yourself first without feeling guilty? It begins by understanding that you are your first priority. Imagine you're on an airplane and the oxygen masks drop down. You're told to put on your own mask before helping others. Why? Because you can't help anyone else if you're gasping for air. The same principle applies in life. Begin by setting boundaries. You're not a superhero, and that's okay. Learn to say no when you're spread too thin, it's not a rejection of others but a commitment to your own well-being. Next, make time for activities that bring you joy and relaxation. A daily walk, a good book, a hobby you adore. These aren't frivolous indulgences, they're necessary for rejuvenating your spirit. Remember, prioritizing yourself isn't about neglecting others. It's about ensuring you're in the best position to help them. Putting yourself first is not selfish, it's self-respect. Imagine a world where your positive energy inspires everyone around you. Now, isn't that a captivating thought? It all starts with you. The energy you radiate doesn't just affect you, it influences everyone you come into contact with. Consider it as a ripple in a pond. Your positivity is the pebble that sets everything in motion. When you take care of yourself, when you prioritize your well-being, you're not just doing it for you. You're doing it for everyone who crosses your path. Your positivity becomes infectious, it uplifts others, it inspires them. And isn't that a beautiful thing? To know that your happiness can create a domino effect of joy. So be the change you wish to see in the world. Be that beacon of positive energy. Let your light shine brightly, illuminating the path for others. Embrace the power of positivity and see how it transforms not just your life, but those around you. Your positivity can be the spark that lights up the world, so start with self-love and self-care and watch the magic unfold.